Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at another screen recording piece of uh, software. It's another extension available in Google Chrome. So there's a video on my YouTube channel where I show you how to install Chrome extensions. So we're going to open up here. It's called Loom. When you launch Loom to start with for the first time it will ask you to approve your microphone and allow you to use your webcam it'll also get you to sign in and what it does very similar to some of the others I've shown you already is you can see me down in the bottom corner here and you can choose which elements you want to capture so we can set the microphone uh, and we can also set the camera and what you want to capture so we hit start recording you will decide whether you want an application window, which say if you're recording uh, something in PowerPoint maybe, or whether you want the entire screen. So I'm going to go with application window and Chrome and hit share. It gives me a countdown and then I'm live. So I can now navigate through this page. So we're going to have a look at my blog. And then I could potentially showcase people by clicking on the label feature. They could see all the tags that I use to map my blog posts. So there you have it, that's Loom. When you finish recording, there's a little pop up which is just visible. Right down the bottom page, hit stop sharing. And it will add your Loom once it's processed to your page. So this is where it will appear when the video is processed. You can title it by, it's going to talk us through that, but I'll title that. You've got the option to share it. You can put in a description. And as comments are written, it maps them to the timestamp on the video, which is quite a useful feature. So if the video was at 30 seconds and you added a comment, that's the timestamp that you would see there. And then you've got the ability to alter the video permissions. So you can go anyone with a link or it can be anyone with a password, which could be useful if you're looking to share videos that have students in. Um, and you can get the link copied there to share via your social media sites, or you can download a copy as well. Now at the moment, Loom is saying that it's uh, unlimited uh, video uploads, uh, and you can track your views there. So let's see how that continues, but a really nice, easy way to use. If you want to get involved with using YouTube, then you can use this. Even if you decide that you want to host it on YouTube, you can still record it on this, and then download it and re-upload it onto your YouTube channel. Hope you found that useful. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.